Hey everyone, welcome back to my series where I'm showing you how to take your watercolor paintings and turn them into repeating patterns in Photoshop. So at this point, we've painted our motifs and we've brought them into Photoshop and I've shown you how I merge multiple scans in case you have a painting that's too big for your scanner. Now in this quick video, I'm just gonna show you my tips for setting up your Photoshop files as you move forward in this pattern making game. Now, this is gonna sound kind of silly, but you're gonna see why this is useful later on. So I'm actually gonna make two copies of this original. So I'll just hit Command J to twice and then we've got three total copies of original so the first one we're just going to leave called original I'm going to turn it off and I'm going to hit the lock to lock it we're not going to touch that original we want to again I'm a big fan of the non-destructive editing we don't want anything to go wrong with that so I'm going to lock it this one here I'm going to call original copy and then this one up here I'm going to call original working so you'll see why all of this is necessary, but this original working file is the one that we're gonna be mainly working with. So we can turn everything else off and just focus on this one original working file. Now, something I should say before I go too much further is that I did learn a lot of these techniques from Kat Kukulet's Skillshare course, which I've been talking about all the time. It really was so helpful for me. So if you're on Skillshare, I would totally recommend watching Kat's class. I use a lot of the techniques that she taught me, but I've also kind of tweaked it to be what works best for me. But if you are interested in watch watching that class, I can put a link to that below because I know a lot of folks have asked me about it before. Okay, so at this point we can close that original scan that we opened up. We don't need that anymore. And then we're gonna save this file. So you can just do file, save as. You can save it right on your computer. And I like to go back into my PS files folder that we created last time. And I'm gonna call this one forest floor motifs because this is the document where we're gonna be isolating all of the motifs that we'll use to build our patterns later on. I'm gonna save this as a large document format file because again, when we're working with these scans that are really high resolution, sometimes we get really large file sizes. And so we're just gonna kind of jump ahead of things here and make that decision now. If you're working with photographs rather than scans, obviously you can skip all of this photo merging thing, but you should still have three copies of your original, original, original copy and original working. We're gonna need those down the line. So I really hope you found that helpful. Now stay tuned because in the very next video, I'm gonna show you my best tips for removing that watercolor paper background. This is a really exciting technique and something that was a total game changer for me in my pattern making journey. So I'm really excited to share it with you and I will catch you very soon in that video.